it's back. The Premier League this weekend. Cannot wait. Uh, and loads of games live on TalkSport for you as well. It all kicks off with the Merseyside derby. Liverpool against Everton. That's at 12.30. Then probably the game of the weekend, you might say, on TalkSport 2. The mighty Newcastle United against Crystal Palace. Live from St James's Park. Uh, and then later on, on Saturday night, live on TalkSport, Sheffield United take on Manchester United as well. Uh, sandwiched between that, is uh, Chelsea Arsenal as well. We're going to get Rory's thoughts on that a bit later on in the show. But Rory, I mean, you must be as buzzing as me that the the Prem is back this weekend. Yes. I mean, it's it's such a relief, isn't it? It was necessary. Like, for my sanity, just making it purely all about me. For my sanity, (laughs) I needed it. Like, I just found the international break so annoying, partly because the standard of football is so poor. Yeah, it's boring. But but primarily because I feel like there, there is a different conversation to be had as to the reasons why the Premier League is so good mm. and not all of those reasons are, are good news mm. but if we just take it at face value the Premier League is sensational the standard of football that we've had this season has been almost in a league of its own almost mm. incomparable to anything that we've had before the, the standard of football the, the the quality of the goals the quality of the players the, the jeopardy in each game I've loved it mm. and so to rob us of it and replace it with such a Poor spectacle, like <laughs> England, Australia. So no, I am, I am delighted that the Premier League is back, and I think we're in for a great weekend. You know, there's a yeah, lot going oh, on. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, we have almost come to a natural checkpoint, haven't we? Because of this unwanted uh, international break. Whilst we're here. I'm going to ask you to do some outrights for me, uh, Rory Jennings. As we see the season as it is right now, uh, I want you to tell me who you think is going to finish in the top four. I'll just give you the current top four Mm. right now. Tottenham are top of the league, would you believe? Print it off, Tottenham fans. Mm -hmm. Uh, Arsenal are second. Manchester City third. And Liverpool are fourth. Do you see it being that top four at the end of the season? Yeah, almost not in that order. Obviously not in that order. In reverse order, so... No, I think... think I, I, th- I still think Arsenal can win the league, you know. Like, I really do. I desperately don't want that to be the case. Yeah, I th- but I really do. The thing is, though, eventually Man City will get their best players back and well, eventually they'll go on a 20-game or whatever winning run and th- there is we've a written reason. them off so many times. Yeah, there, kind is a, of. there is a reason that nobody, some of the best teams that you can, well, all of the best teams that you can possibly think of, however good they've ever been, mm. nobody's done four in a row. Yeah. Ever. Nobody but surely has this ever. team can, mate. They're they're so good. They're so. Re- I think we're. But there forgetting- is a reason why nobody's done four. But we're forgetting why we're forgetting just how good Manchester City are. Sorry, when they have got Rodri, when they have got De Bruyne, they are unstoppable, mate. They are. They're ridiculous. They're one of the best teams the Premier League has ever seen. Yeah, I agree. But and, and I know you say no one's ever done four. Well, you know, only one team had done a treble before yes. they did it last season. If any team's going to do it, it's got to be them. I think that that, that is true. The, like the likelihood of Pep Guardiola taking us to you know unknown pleasures like a different a different world mm. is is possible and plausible mm. and he's done that already in fact mm. I just think that there are a number of reasons why I believe that Arsenal can still win it and a lot of them are actually about Manchester City not necessarily Arsenal like I think the points tally that Manchester City will accrue this year will be less than usual mm. and therefore the intimidating tally that they often manage to put up in excess of 90 points on a regular basis. I just don't think that's going to happen this season. And you think Arsenal can reach that? No, I don't think Arsenal will do that either. But I just think that the bar is going to be lower. Mm. And therefore, you won't need the 93 to win the league. Mm. You won't need the 95 plus to win the league. Mm. You'll need a more obtainable level. You'll need 84. Yeah, what about Liverpool's chances to win this league? They're very capable. I, I, you know, they're very, they're, they're very people capable. Have, people have been talking about, you know, our Tottenham title contenders. No, they're, they're not for me. Of course on. not. Like, I know they're top of the table right now. They've they've been, you know, they've had some good games. They've also, had, they've also had quite an easy start. They've had some good performances. They were very good in the North London derby. Had but an awful lot of luck. The, yes, and I just don't think that squad has enough depth. When you look at the squads of Arsenal, Man City, and Liverpool, they are the three for me. Tottenham that will are, push it all the Tottenham way. are far more likely to to qualify for the Europa League than they are win the league. Far more likely. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, but Liverpool, what about them? Are we kind of... It's weird with Liverpool, isn't it? Because we sometimes forget just how big a beast they can be. Because, they, you know, obviously last season wasn't the best for them. They came fifth. And again, you kind of forget... I mean, that's the thing. 
when you look at Manchester City and Liverpool, it's like I just said, they are two teams that are capable and have been capable in the past of going on ridiculous runs. Yeah. And actually, we, we did see it from Arsenal last season, but do, can, can you no. see enough in this Arsenal team to know that they will definitely be able to match that and keep this going for the rest of the season? I think Arsenal, out of, every, out of the contenders, so if you believe Manchester City are the favourites, out yeah. of the contenders, I think Arsenal are clearly the best placed. I think they've got the best team, they've got the best players. They went very close last year and they've replenished. They're a better team this mm. year than they were last year. If you think about their midfield, often games are won and lost by midfield. In fact, titles are often won and lost by midfield. If you look at their midfield, they probably have, they arguably have the best midfield in the league. Odegaard, Partey, Rice, yeah. which I don't think Arteta has played yet. But if he were to opt for those three from start, I don't think he started them that suddenly looks comparable to the Rodri, De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva, yeah. the, the, the Man City one, is probably better in my opinion, but the mm. point is they're close. It's arguable. Mm. If you look at Arsenal's back line, they're still unbeaten. You know, they, they are very good away from home, which is a title-winning credential. Yep. Saliba at the back looks like one of the best players in the league. Um, and their spine, you know, they've, they've strengthened a position of strength in their goalkeeper. Then it goes Saliba, arguably the best defender in the league so far this season. You then go Declan Rice, arguably the best midfielder in the league this season. And then they don't have the traditional sense forward. They have a, a four or five effervescent front five that interchange and ultimately are capable of scoring a lot of goals. So mm. Arsenal are the best place. The, the Achilles heel that Liverpool have, in my opinion, and time will tell if this is correct or not, I just don't think that you can completely and utterly demolish a midfield a, a, a title-winning midfield, a European Champions League-winning midfield, a dominant midfield, a perfect midfield at times. Mm. You totally demolish that in one window. Like you know, when we would discuss. I Liverpool. don't know though, mate, because their 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 midfield's been been good. Been good. It's also been, been bad. Of, it's also at been, times it has it's been also bad. been bad. It's, I, yeah, fair which enough. Is, which is the point. But it, I think I think I would still say it's their defence. Like, what do Liverpool have? A, Liverpool have goals issue. galore, don't they? Yeah. Goal, scoring goals won't be a problem for that Liverpool team. Yeah, nobody yeah, yeah. nobody thinks they're ever going to struggle to score goals. Mm. There is there is an abundance and wealth of talent of goal scorers in that team, so they'll score enough. The midfield, I believe, is questionable, mm. and the back line isn't good enough. I think yeah, they will concede. I, but enough. that's what I was going to say. I think it's the back line they need to worry about more than their midfield. I think that they've shown enough in their good performances but, that they they are good enough. Say it was this defence. But it was, but it was Fabinho and Henderson in their pomp. This defense is good enough to win a league with Fabinho and Henderson in their pomp. The fact that they haven't got Fabinho and Henderson protecting them, and they're slightly more vulnerable. Yeah, it's shown them up. It's shown yeah, them up. It's a porous defense. Mm. They've got they've got the best keeper in the league. They've got a very good defense, but not good enough. Mm. And their midfield I, is brand new. And basically, because of that, you, you don't see them as. You, do you, I mean, do you even see them in the title? No, race? I don't think they can win the league. I don't. Are see they them. in the race? I mean, they're in the race because they're they're the third most likely, and therefore they have to be in the race. But mm. but I don't think anyone realistically can win it apart from Arsenal or Manchester mm. City. So with that top four, what you've done there, you, you've left out um, your own Chelsea. I'd probably agree with that. They're eleventh at the moment. You've left out Manchester United. You've left out Newcastle United, um, Brighton, and Aston Villa. Do you see any of those teams being able to get into that top four this season? They. No, I don't think any of the teams that you just mentioned can break into the top four because I think that is pretty much a close shot. I think the four teams that we just discussed... I in, think when you look... Yeah, yeah, you've they, got Spurs who don't have um, any European competition mm. to deal with and Arsenal, Man City and Liverpool, for me, look too mm. strong. Arsenal, Man City and Liverpool are too strong. Yeah. There is some jeopardy around Tottenham making it into the top four. Because, there isn't because any it's jeopardy Tottenham. <laughs> because it's Tottenham. And also, like, let's see Ange Postacoglu when things are going badly. Mm. It's all very well. The, t the crowd uh, like amending Robbie Williams songs to, to fit... Fit in with you, and you know you're 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 really lucky against Liverpool. It's going mm. your way. You get you get the rub of the green again against Arsenal. Things go f in your favour. Mm. Let's see when it's not going in their favour. So you know when they played Manchester United, they end up beating them this year. Yeah. If if Marcus Rashford doesn't header that ridiculous cross from Bruno Fernandes over the bar, let's see them come back. Let's see how they are when the chips are down. So people kind of saying Tottenham are going to do it. I've heard it so many times. Mm. You know, I remember Tottenham fans telling me Lewis Holtby was like one of the best players in the league. <laughs> like I've heard it so many times. I've heard it since they were banging on about Naeem. You know, it's mm. I've heard I, it. About I did Tottenham. think they showed a, a lot of character in that North London derby. I'd have been a lot more impressed, and I actually think 
a few Spurs fans were a bit gutted after that game. They, because, they bowled it. Yeah, because they should have won it. They, they should have it. won it, yeah. They bowled it. They, um, didn't go for, they didn't go for the jugular. Yeah. It's not, that's not thing. Look, they've got a pitiful record at the Emirates and they probably thought a point was a good point in the circumstances. Yeah. But they bought on Hoibia. Yeah. Like, that's not an offensive. That's not that's not gung ho the Tottenham way, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's cowardly. Not, that's not like Ange said after the game, going there to play their game. No. Which, so I thought no, that was you a bit on strange. Hoibia. Yeah, exactly. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.